But nobody has given up more than Mark Griffin. I quit my job and sold all my possessions that I could sell and found myself in food pantries and uh, sleeping in a car. It's not about the money. It's about my game is going to be an Olympic sport. It's just that good. And how are y'all doing today? How are you doing? Good, how are right. you today? I'm excited, this is my dream come true. Uh, my name is Mark Griffin and I'm the inventor of Bullet Ball and Bullet Ball Extreme. Bullet Ball is a high caliber table game designed for the 21st century lifestyle. Just like other sports with international appeal, such as basketball, soccer, and ping pong, it is our vision that one day bullet ball will become an Olympic sport. Please explain how the game works. Do you want somebody else to play against you? Absolutely. I'll play. I love games. So. Okay, the object of the game is to get the ball past your opponent. Okay. By utilizing your forearms and our hands. Okay. Okay. My point. Okay. My point. My point. Okay, I get it. That's bullet ball. Uh, how much have you invested in this? I had this vision 26 years ago. What happened that when you got this vision? What were you doing? My ex-wife and I, we were sitting there drinking wine, having conversation, rolling the cat's ball back and forth across the table. The ball became faster and faster. And we said, well, wait a minute. If we're going to play this game, we need some rules. Mark, 26 years is a really long time. Yes, it is. Tell me what you have put into this game over those years. Where are you now? <laughs> I quit my job. I decided that, you know, 80% of inventors take their invention to the grave with them. And I decided that that was not going to happen to me. I've sold all my stuff, traded my Saab in for a, a 92 Volvo station wagon with 300,000 miles, sold my wife's wedding ring, loaded everything up into what I could get in that station wagon and drove to Chicago. If you sold everything, what do you have now? <laughs> I have bullet ball. Um, I don't even have a home to go back to. We're oh, staying in my car. Mark, what would happen if, though, if, if we say no? You don't understand. All my life, I felt like I needed to do something, take the risk, and do something for myself. This idea is mine. This is my dream come true. It will happen. It was destined to be, and we're going to make it happen Mark, one way or the other, and that I guarantee, yes. My personal thing from me to you is you can lose everything, but whatever you do, please don't lose your mind, because you're not going to make it with this. Oh, absolutely. I totally disagree. It's not going to happen. It it's will not happen. happen. This is, it won't happen. It, I'm, I'm telling you, it will happen. Go, go get your life back, go get a job. I have my invention. And I'm telling you, bullet ball is going to be a success. I think it's, it's a dream. And it's I hope a, it comes reality, but I don't think it game. will. I'm gonna say no. I'm a game inventor. I've invented games, I've sold games. I, I mean, I'm seriously looking at the gameplay here. And it's, it's, it's nice, I played it. Sorry, I have to say no. I'm afraid that you're reliving a great moment in your life and you're trying to relive it. And, and I hope it doesn't destroy you. I'm really worried about that. But I'm gonna have to say no, I'm sorry. Mark, please, you, you, you told, think about this. You told us that you've given 26 years of your life to this game. I think that's more of a life than a man can give to a dream. Please get your life back. I have to say no. No from all four? This is, 
you don't understand. I don't know what I'm going to go back to, but 100 years from now, I'll be smiling up in heaven saying, I knew one day it would happen.